my dear brothers and sisters, the Bishop Cotta here, just a, a little moment uh, to share with you, a few words to share with you for this month of September in relation to my reflection for the month. The whole reflection really has to do with you, uh, the parents throughout our Diocese of Stockton, from the north to the south, east and west, everything in between, that uh, I'd like to just share a few words with you of the importance of you as a family uh, to come together uh, to worship and how life-giving that is for us. Right now, you as the Catholic families throughout our diocese really form what is known as the domestic church. It's at home where we begin to learn about our faith as you teach your children uh, the fundamentals of the faith, prayer life, uh, going to Mass, receiving the sacraments, preparing your children. Uh, that is a very important thing uh, of utmost importance within the Catholic home. And part of that is getting together and uplifting the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord Sunday. Everything should revolve around the Lord's day. Everything. Sunday should not be the same as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever the days of the week. It should be different. It should be on sort of lifted up on a pedestal for us. I remember as a child how Sundays were just different than any other day of the week. The routine was different. It was a time to kind of slow down. Uh, my family, uh, you know, involved in the dairy business, that was a day that my dad literally did slow down, relaxed, you know, s spent time at home, kind of kicked back as much as that was possible in that livelihood. Not easy, but he did. And we had an enhanced meal for lunch, and we went to Mass together as a family, and dressed up and went to Mass. It was something special about the day uh, of Sunday, the Lord's Day. And so I ask you to kind to during this time of the pandemic, this is a time where we've been forced to slow down, to allow these traditions to be part of your everyday life, your weekly anticipation of the Lord's Day, uh, resurrecting, so to speak, traditions within the Catholic family that used to be principal and somehow has been watered down over the years. It's a, a great treasure time now for us uh, to look at the positive things we can be doing in the ways as the domestic church how do you grow as a Catholic family? And of course, one of those ways is assisting Mass. You know, thanks be to God, you know, technology has truly been a blessing under, these, under this predicament, these circumstances with the pandemic. And uh, so uh, technology has served us well. And one of those ways is live streaming the Masses, videotaping Masses, getting the good news out to you, the people at church going out to you. Uh, but it also is a challenge for us to take the step in faith to celebrate physically present the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. And now our parishes, with the cooperation of my brother priests, God bless them for all the hard work they're doing, making this available, this open air Masses now, because we have been restricted from uh, celebrating indoors. We do the best we can, like I keep saying, nothing's going to stop and we are out worshiping the Lord in the open air. Many families have com complimented how nice this is. It's a different setting, something kind of different. Uh, you know, it can't be forever. Our time is going to change, or the weather changes, the season. We need to get back in the church. And that's my prayer, and I ask you to join me in that prayer uh, to our Blessed Mother, especially to intercede for us that this pandemic lifts, restrictions lift, so we can get back where we belong. Uh, that's my hope, and that's my goal for sure, is to do that. But in the meantime, if you're able to come to Mass, and you're not, you know, part of our brothers and sisters who are in a very vulnerable, you know, situation dealing with a pandemic, and we encourage you to continue to remain at home, to watch Mass by way of technology, virtually doing that, doing your spiritual communions, uh, that type of a thing, uh, continue to do that. We want you to be safe. But those who are able to come to Mass, I encourage you to experience the outdoor Mass in your parish. Come and then see people you haven't seen for a while. Children, among children, parishioners who haven't seen each other for a while because of maybe not being at Catholic school or not even being at school, whatever the situation is, Catholic school or private school. But the whole idea of parish life, we have to be connected and we cannot be distancing ourselves as we have been. This just isn't part of our nature. This isn't even healthy for us, I don't believe. Psychologically, emotionally, and then now spiritually, we need to be physically present there. Bring your children, come, prepare, get your children excited about coming to, to worship under this kind of unusual setting, but again, a new experience for them. 
and it will be part of their, their, their life experience in the way of the church uh, under these very unusual situations. So please get everyone together, pack up the car, come to Mass, Call your office at the parish uh, ahead of time to see what are the restrictions and the guidelines under these particular circumstances now outdoors. But please do that so you're well prepared uh, to celebrate the Eucharist. Because really, uh, parents, you know, may God bless you. You know, all the parents throughout our diocese, you know, as your bishop, but need families who are evangelized, people, families who know that Jesus is the center of their life, in the center of their homes. It's Christ-centered that you live out your faith at home and teach your children what that means. And so together let us respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit, you know, to the call to be evangelized. And it is at the environment of the liturgy where that happens, that Jesus comes down to us to touch us in word and sacrament, to enliven you, to empower you to be the parents, the Catholic parents, that you're called to be in this day and age, to personally attend Mass to personally encounter that love of Christ Jesus, to encounter the forgiveness we receive in the Eucharist, and to encounter the hope in these very troubled times, very confusing and uncertain times, to encounter the risen Jesus, our hope. May God be with you, parents, throughout our diocese. May you continue to allow yourself to be enriched, strengthened, because this is where you're going to be centered. This is where you're going to find the strength to be the parents in this day and age. I mean, God bless you, the challenges that you face. Uh, my prayers are with you. May your prayers be with me, my prayers with you and your families as we pray for an end to this pandemic and where we can come together and worship as we're intended to worship in our, in our churches. May God bless you, and may Almighty God continue to guide you through the power and gift of the Holy Spirit under and with you in the domestic church, your homes. God bless you. Peace be with you.